guys, welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a very interesting video. I want to basically unveil a new release from Earnshaw Watches. Well, technically, it's not really a new release because it was launched off the back of the end of 2019 in December, but it is part of their new collection. And with a lot of new releases delayed across all the watch manufacturers, I thought it'd be nice to share this particular Earnshaw watch as I got a lot of questions from yourselves um, whether the watch was reliable, how it felt on the wrist, what my thoughts were on the dial because it's got a very unique dial and I will unveil this watch shortly. But let's go through the name of the watch. Um, Please feel free to correct me in the comments below if I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly. But this watch goes by the name of Masculine Celestial Chronograph Lapis. And the model number is ES811504. And it retails at £610 sterling for 2020. It is part of the new collection. I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to check them out and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. But let's unveil the watch. But before I do that, let's take a closer look about what I'm sporting on the wrist today. And I'm sporting the popular Buffon Anatolia from Earnshaw Watches. And I've got it on a lovely croc strap that really does complement the piece. And one of the questions, well, one of many questions has been, how reliable is the watch? How is it fared over a six month period? And as you can see, guys, it's still ticking away, working very well, no reliability issues, and it keeps good time. But I have to be transparent and honest with you. I do not wear this watch on a regular basis, and it may get only one to two days wrist time a month. Let's take a closer look at the watch and unbox it for yourselves there. Now, it comes with this new type rectangle box. Very nice, easy to store. A lot easier to store than some of their wooden boxes. But I actually quite like them. They're, although they were quite cheesy, it did make the watch feel a lot more expensive when you did unbox it. But let's take a closer look at this particular timepiece. And before I give you my first impressions, let's basically look at the specification of this particular timepiece. And um, first of all, the case diameter is 43 millimeters. It's got a case thickness of 12 millimeters. The band width is 22 and it tapers down to 20. Now let's pop, let's have a look at the back of the watch. Um, it's water resistant at 5 ATM. It's 50 meters water resistant. It's got a Japanese Seiko entry-level chronograph movement in all stainless steel this watch is finished in a gold ionic plated finish um, the watch comes in many different case color variations have a look at the image there guys check them out there will be a, a dial and a color variant that will suit your style in these but it's very dressy first impressions what can i say well the dial um you know, Earnshaw say that the doll has been hand assembled by a pallet of precious stones. And this really is what makes this watch stand out, makes it look unique. Um, look at that. Look at the way it plays with the light. Beautifully done, I have to say. Now, the crystal on this watch is an acrylic dome crystal with a AR coating on there so anti-reflective coating but um, in general my first impression of this watch it's got a bit of breguet st stroke jacob and co about it that just the design look at these sub dials of the chronograph and the hands very breguet very cool indeed i have to say you some people will love this some people will absolutely hate this particular timepiece. It will have a little bit of a Marmite effect. It's very much a dressy chronograph watch. It's not something you could say is a sports chronograph watch. There is absolutely no loom on this particular timepiece. It's quite a flashy, loud timepiece. Very nice in design. I quite like it. You know, it's something that you probably... As a watch enthusiast will say, it's not really something that you should like. But I quite like the design. The design is A1. But what about the rest of the watch? How does it fare in quality, in feel? Um, well, first of all, I have to say, starting on the dial, 
I absolutely love the doll. I think it's absolutely special. It's absolutely beautiful in the way it looks. And um, the last time I came across a watch even similar to this, well, not similar in terms of the doll, would have been the Rolex Day Date with the Agate doll that I had on the channel that we sold on. Um, not to everybody's taste, but definitely a watch that you can look at like a piece of art, look at the doll, and you notice something different about the doll every time you take a close look at the doll. Each piece is unique, as all precious stones um, the palette of these dolls will be assembled by hand uh, and will look different every time they're assembled. So not, not one piece will be exactly the same um, in terms of the doll. You will see different, you know, uh, combinations of colours and blues in there. But overall, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I like the Earnshaw applied logo there at uh, three o'clock. Very nice. In terms of the sub dolls. Yeah, nice. It looks, it looks good. It looks nice. Um, let's have a look at the chronograph function. Now, that is disappointing. I cannot say any more than that. The chronograph function is disappointing. Just the way it clicks and the way it feels. Uh, look, it's a quartz watch. You know, it's a standard, you know, entry-level Seiko chronograph movement. Very basic. But I think they could have used something a little bit more special for this timepiece. They should have used a, me a Seiko Mecha Quartz to give it that little clink, that mechanical feel. You know, the second hand is always always clicking, you know, lets the team down a little bit, I have to say there. The movement, I'm pretty disappointed. And especially for the price, at £610, I would have expected something a little bit better to match the quality of the dial. And it is a chronograph. But in saying that, you know, if it was an automatic movement, well, you'd probably be looking at double the price, maybe in the early £2,000 mark, I have to say. But um, I just wish I, they went with a Mecca Quartz on this. It would have just completed the watch, especially at that price point. I do find it quite expensive for what it is. Um, but in saying that, you know, it is a new release. And um, if you check the description below, um, you can get a considerable discount using the D-Time Love promo code. So check that out below. Um, it's available for you to get a discount on, on various models that they have. So check that in the description below. So overall, I like it. It's unique. It's a bit of a Marmite watch. I don't think it will appeal to everybody. It takes a certain character to try and pull off something like this, I have to say. But I'm the sort of guy that would wear something like this. As I said, I'm a big fan of Jacob & Co, Breguet, I absolutely love unique design, unique watches. So let's get this bad boy on the wrist. Now let's have a look at the watch on the wrist and a fairly large piece. Um, the leather band is still quite stiff. Um, I need to break the leather band in. It will wear a lot better once I've worn the watch a little bit. But um, yeah, beautiful watch, very stunning indeed. Um, like I said, if I'm being overly critical, I have to say the movement is quite disappointing. Um, I would have said that I'm not too keen on the date function being in the sub dial. I would have preferred it not to even have a date, to be fair, to keep the balance of the dial would have looked even better. But I like the applied logo of Earnshaw there at three o'clock. Very nice indeed. I love the Breguet hands. Um, overall, nice piece. I think it's a little bit overpriced, I have to say. So definitely use the promo code that I have below. You can get a considerable discount on all of the, you know, Earnshaw watches on their website. And it's a good time to buy, especially with the way the world and the watch markets are at the moment. You know, a lot of the watch brands are offering extremely good offers on their watches because uh, as you guys know everybody has stopped buying at the moment especially the sort of entry level type watches out there the affordable stuff tends to struggle more than even some of the luxury ones because people buying the luxury brands have a lot of savings you know at the end of the day well most of the time not us wash addicts who are addicted to to the hobby we tend to have a lot less money than everybody else because we spend all of our money on watches but um yeah nice watch i hope you enjoyed today's video and um if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and keep safe